my brothers and hello my sisters happy Friday um, to you you and you this is the day the Lord has made it we shall rejoice and be glad in it I, I want to say something right quick if I can um, concerning um, the last days concerning the end times and one of the words that people use a lot as one of the signs of the end time is the apocalypse where people uses that as a way of how zombies going to come or how destruction is going to come. But one thing that's going to happen before any destruction comes, um, uh, any punishment, any judgment, where God uh, punishes the wicked is the word apocalypse. And the word apocalypse is a covering to expose. And if you look, if you realize and you understand that in this time and season that we're living in, there are many things that are being exposed from the hierarchy of its particular organization or its particular uh, thing that has been operating at the head of it. God is pulling back the sheet. That's what's happening. The sheet in the church, the sheet being pulled back government sheep being put back in a particular uh, uh, organization the truth is being uncovered and even in the scripture says that even in the last days that how even God would hide his secret things from the wise and the prudent but reveal them unto babes and, and so God is uncovering God is exposing God is Shine in his light. This is what it comes down to. Anytime where light shine, darkness will be exposed. And so there is a greater light that's being shined from the presence of God. And so which lets us know that he's getting close. Because the closer you get to brightness, the more you reflect the light that's that's being shined in front of you. And so prepare yourself. Uh, uh, forgive your enemies, forgive yourself. I ask God to forgive you. Uh, get your house in order. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Just like who was it, Hezekiah? Hezekiah had done a, a bad thing. And God sent a prophet to him and told him to get his house in order. For God, his life is going to be required. But Hezekiah played and cried out to God. And because he cried out to God and laid it before him, God changed his mind and restored life. And so in your situation now, cry out to God cry out to him and he will extend to you life. Hear me.